So here I am again now, this time actually down in the hold areas of the ship which have been partly converted and as you can see here on the video, um, the timber work is in for the line outs. There's been a bulkhead door already cut there to give access to the spiral stairs that will lead up to the deck. And as I cast around here, bear in mind that this ship was previously employed as a diesel supply vessel, oil supply vessel. No apparent uh, 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 scent whatsoever or smell of diesel. Uh, I'm told that uh, these tanks have been uh, washed out with an alcohol or pressure wash mix, and certainly I'm not aware of that. Looking through into that unlit space is another forward hold which has been divided into two as for the former tanks, the baffles you can see on the right hand side and beyond there an access door into another space, uh, part again as I say of the hold, uh, which contains a eight person jacuzzi. So as I say, partly converted already all the hard, laborious, heavy work done. And below me on the floor, often you see ships of this nature have been concrete lined or something of this sort, but here um, they've used this uh, tar, these tar chippings. This has the benefit that of course they can be removed for any apparent repair should they become necessary due to impact damage or whatever. Um, but uh, also um, it's uh, uh, a, a great, ballast material and uh, so this very interesting conversion and at a price which is probably half of its real value um, so for more details of the vessel please go to www.boatshedsuffolk.com or www.boatshedcommercial.com and thanks for watching bye bye